Welcome to the projector tool training. In this video I will talk about basically what you see here. This is our updater and as you can see we don't only have the USB update possibility and since the last update the possibility to download the project over CAN but now we also have the possibility to download over Ethernet. So three ways to get the project to the device. Um, for the USB way, not much has changed. You select a device. I have to plug in the USB stick so it won't be annoyed anymore. Now I have a USB stick. It shows how much space there is and how much space available. If I want, I can also select a, a specific path. For example, if I don't want to download to a USB stick, but I want to download the package to, trend to, to send to someone per email, something like that. But normally you just have to select the device. What's new, of course, is this edit device can settings and edit device ethernet settings. These are settings that will be transferred with this project to the device. Let's take a look. First, we have the CAN port. This means you are telling the device which CAN port should be used for the update for the next uh, transfer. Same with the Ethernet settings. This is our default Ethernet address uh, uh, for our um, devices and the, the ports used for broadcast commands and the data stream. Um, they will be transferred with this project to the USB stick and then installed on the device. And then for the next transfer, they will be available. This is very important. These are not settings for now, but for later. Okay. So, um, I select the device, I click transfer, and the project will be downloaded as you know it. Okay, um, let's try another way for CAN. In CAN, you usually only have, since, you, since I only have one PCAN dongle, I, I don't have any selections here. Um, I can select the bitrate. It's important to select a bitrate that is currently active on the device. So since I haven't changed anything there, it will be 250 kilobits. I could also change uh, uh, the IDs used here, but I would have to have changed them on a USB transfer before. Otherwise, the device will still listen to these ones. So I will leave them as they are. Once again, I have device can settings for the next transfer. And so the same, I can edit the, the Ethernet settings. What I can also do is add some uh, user files. So I can put any additional data that I want um, into the project and will be downloaded with it. Okay, let's see if it will work. It looks good. Here's the netto speed and the progress, time remaining. Yeah, I think we can wait that long. So this is now over CAN, actually to, to, a, to a, a device connected via PCAN dongle and uh, connected to the device. And that's it. Okay, um, the last way is via Ethernet. Let's take a look at that as well. Um, yeah, this is the default view. Up here you can scan for devices. Usually it will scan on all available Ethernet adapters. If you know which one um, is used, uh, uh, to, is, is connected with the, uh, with the device, you can already select it, but it doesn't matter. Once you scan, it will very quickly find the correct device. Um, you can also manually enter um, a device IP address and port if you know it. But usually it's better to just use the, the, the scanner because then you already have the correct data. Once again, 
here are the settings that you can transfer with this project that will be used for the next transfer. Okay, same with the can settings that you can uh, select to edit here. I can choose to change the can port to can port 2, but that will only be for the next transfer. So when I go back now to can and I want to transfer over can again, it will use can port 1. But if I transfer this over Ethernet now, then it will use CAN port 2 for the next setting. Very important to understand. Okay, so I have selected a device and that's it. I click transfer. Should be, yeah, it's very fast. No doubt about that. And that's it. So, um, it's very important to understand that certain settings have to be made on the device beforehand. Um, there are default settings. By default, the active CAN uh, port that will be used is CAN port 2. But there is a variable. Let me go to the help. There is a variable called enable updater. And this variable um, selects which uh, ways can be used for um, updating the device. And it's a bitwise uh, selector, which means if it's set to zero, then there is no updater enabled at all. If it's one, which is the default setting, also important to know. So by default, only down project download via USB is enabled. So don't wonder why you cannot download your project over CAN or Ethernet instantly. It's because the updater variable has a value of 1 by default. Um, if you set it to 2, the CAN port, up, the, the CAN update will be enabled. And if you set it to 3, that's why I said it's binary, then both of them are enabled. I just see that there is something missing here. There will be uh, some more lines because we also have the update via Ethernet. So this one has to be updated yet. You will hopefully see this correctly in your help. Um, so if the value is 4, let me continue that. We have um, update only via Ethernet. 5 is Ethernet and USB. 6 is Ethernet and CAN. And finally 7 will be all three uh, uh, enabled. Okay. Um, the other important thing is the updater CAN port. This variable selects which CAN port should be used for the uh, download over CAN. If it's zero, then you use CAN port. Then CAN port one will be used. If it's one, then CAN port two is used. Okay. These are all settings that you should make in the project that you create. As you may or may not have seen already, um, if you start a new device or if, if you install the pclient uh, uh, from this version on a device, um, the welcome project will look a little bit different. Um, ignore uh, the, uh, the dark line here. There will be the uh, operating system displayed on the device that doesn't work in the uh, simulation though. But what's new is the updater settings right here. And here is what they look like. You can basically set up everything that I just talked about, all the necessary variables. Here you basically set the enable updater variable. I said by default it is set to 1, which means only USB. I can add or remove download over CAN and or Ethernet. So now the updater will be 7. The updater variable will have the, the value 7 because Ethernet and CAN is available. For Ethernet and CAN, I can set up which CAN port I want to use and which bitrate. And finally, for did I say for Ethernet? For CAN. For Ethernet, I can set up the IP address and also the net mask. Both uh, variables that are not available in the simulation on the device, they will work. So. If you install the, the pclient from this version on a, on a device, um, you will have the possibility to set all the necessary variables in this, uh, uh, in this project. So you just enable the, the um, update over CAN or Ethernet, and then you can start right away connecting uh, 
via Ethernet or CAN to download the project. Just remember that by default only transfer via USB is enabled. So if you want to download over CAN or Ethernet, you have to do something. You have to make some make some settings, otherwise it won't work. Have fun downloading and thanks for watching.